breakfast casseroles are really great for when you're serving a big group of people or you're meal prepping. So today I'm gonna to be making a breakfast casserole that consists of some eggs and potatoes, zucchini and onion and cheese. And the thing is, is that I always am chasing the flavor in my recipes. I want it to taste the best. And so I'm gonna show you some extra steps that you have to take in order to get that. Now I personally prefer the extra flavor so I don't mind taking the extra step. And I'm gonna show you just how to do it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it special right after my chef joke. Okay, let's start off here with chef joke number one. How did the omelet find out she was ill? She had a medical exam. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off here with some organic gold potatoes and you're gonna want to peel them. I think the texture is better without the skin. Once you've got the potatoes peeled, you're gonna to wanna to slice them very thinly. So I've cut it in half, and then you can see here that I'm thinly slicing each piece. This will make them cook up a lot quicker. So for today's video, I'm using a casserole dish that is about a 10 by 10, but you can use a 10 by 13, just depending on how many people you're feeding. So I'm using about six potatoes for this dish, but you can add more. You just want a nice layer of potatoes throughout your casserole dish. And for this recipe, I used about, I measured it out to about 13 ounces. So we're gonna take these over to the stove and start cooking them. I have a large frying pan here over medium high heat. And I'm gonna add some olive oil. I wanna just coat the bottom of the pan. All right, we'll let that get hot for just a second. And what we're gonna do here for flavor is we're going to cook these. I'm gonna use a lid as well so they'll cook even faster. This shouldn't take very long at all. Uh, and, and we're gonna sear and caramelize the potatoes a little bit. They get in that nice little crusty edge which just tastes amazing. All right, the oil's getting hot. You can see it's getting very thin. And we're gonna place in the potatoes. And you'll hear a little sizzle. That's how you know that's nice and hot. Potatoes need salt, so I'm going to be just fairly generous with that. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder and a little pepper. Now you want, I'm using a large pan because I want as much surface area on the potatoes as possible so they'll brown up. Put a lid on them and let them go for a couple minutes and we'll check them. So while the potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna slice up a zucchini. So we'll slice off both ends of the zucchini and then cut it in half. Then I'll cut each half of the zucchini in half again and then line them up and make some very thin slices. Now we're also gonna cook the zucchini just like we did the potatoes for extra flavor, which really makes a big difference. Uh, but we're going to cook these along with some onions, so let's get into cutting that up as well. So I have a half of a yellow onion here, and I'm just going to thinly slice this as well. Try and get it as paper thin as you can. So I'll just go ahead and place that right on the zucchini. We're going to be cooking these together. Here's our potatoes after just about four or five minutes of cooking with the lid on, medium-high heat. And I'm going to turn them over here, and you can see the brown stuff. That's what you want. You want these potatoes to get that crusty, brown, crispy edge. That's where all the flavor is. So I want these to brown up some more, so I'm gonna put the lid back on and let them continue to cook for another four or five minutes. Now that we've got most of our potatoes here browned up nicely, I'm gonna place them into my casserole dish. And then just spread them out evenly on the bottom of the dish. I did not spray my pan with any kind of oil, and that's something I would probably recommend. Mine did stick a little bit. So what I would do going forward is just to rub a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the dish. So now we're gonna do essentially the same thing to the zucchini and in onions that we did to the potatoes. So, olive oil. Let it get hot for a second. This pan's already pretty hot. As you can see, the oil is very thin already. I'm gonna throw this in. A little bit of salt, garlic powder, just a little bit, and some pepper. I got my heat medium high. I want it pretty hot. Give this a little stir and then we'll put the lid on it and let it cook for four or five minutes and then we'll check it. 
While those zucchinis are cooking, I'm going to crack my eggs into a bowl here, and you can get the written recipe down below in the description of this video, so click down there. Now to the eggs, I like to just add a little bit of salt and garlic powder, and then we'll just whip, whip that up with a whisk. I added about eight eggs to this, and of course, if you want to make a larger casserole, you'll use more. Back to the zucchini, I'll, we're going to check this. It's been about only three minutes, so I'm flipping it over, and you can see it's starting to caramelize. Cooking the zucchini until it browns up is super important. It does two things. One, it adds a tremendous amount of flavor, and it also cooks out all of the moisture in the zucchini so that your casserole isn't runny. The lid's going back on, and we're going to cook this another five, six, seven minutes, whatever it takes. Here's what we're looking for, that nice caramelized onion and zucchini, and now we're going to pour it into our casserole. So we'll just pour the zucchini right over the top of the potatoes and try to evenly disperse it so that you've got zucchini in every bite. Now we'll give our eggs one last whisk and then we'll pour it over the casserole. Now I'm going to top this with some sliced Swiss cheese, but feel free to use Monterey Jack, cheddar, anything you like. And you could even use grated, it doesn't have to be sliced. We're going to place this in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 minutes. It's that time, chef joke number two. Here we go. Why do so many people love a boiled egg for breakfast? It's so hard to beat. <laughs> Here's a peek of our casserole after about eight minutes in the oven. It's almost done and it looks great. Now that the casserole is done, I'm going to garnish it up with some fresh basil, just because I have it in my garden, but you could use parsley as well. Roll up your basil leaves and then give them a nice little chop. And don't add this, you know, before you are ready to serve it, because it will turn black as it oxidizes rather quickly. Go ahead and drizzle that over the top of your casserole, and I think it gives it a very nice finished look. Not to mention some nice flavor. It's time to serve this up, so I'll just cut this up a little bit, and you'll see as I take it out that it stuck a little bit, but not too bad, really. I can't wait to eat this. It's so delicious. If you make sure that you caramelize those potatoes and zucchini and onions, you are going to absolutely love this. The flavor in this is amazing. You've got to try it. It's just the caramelization makes the dish. Do it. If you'd like to try a breakfast burrito, I got the one for you right here. My kids absolutely love this. It is so full of flavor. It's got some sweet potatoes, scrambled eggs, bacon, and lots of seasonings. It's super delicious. Click the link and you can go check that out. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe. Cheers.